Hi everybody, welcome to Talk O'Clock. I hope you had a great Christmas. Um, I surely did. And uh, here's some things that, well, happened last week. So uh, first off, um, like I had said in the previous vlog, gift wrapping, the final bits were done. So let me very quickly interrupt. You've seen that I started framing gifts or what are supposed to be gifts. But the first one here is actually a gift to me. And uh, let me tell you something very special about it. So I'm not gonna show you things in detail and you will see in a hot second that I will reframe that particular gift to me. Because, well, I kind of thought, ah, oh, it needs a little more oomph, you know? But this is actually what the title of the vlog is this week. This is a very special kind of love letter to me. It's not romantic. Don't worry, there's nothing weird coming up or surprising or anything. But, you know... Some of the most heartfelt love letters are between friends. And I have told you last week, I did, uh, I, I did tell you about um, the Secret Santa evening and how much fun I had. But what I kind of completely left out because I had to wrap my mind around it uh, at the time that I was filming, I received a very, very special kind of love letter this evening. So what I'm framing here, and please don't pause the video to try to read it. This is very private. Um, this is just me sharing with you that something like this can happen. Um, I received a very, very special kind of love letter this evening. Um, no, that evening. This is the wrong operative word. Uh, that evening, because it's a couple of days ago already. Um, I received a love letter from a very dear friend. Not romantic, not trying to go into things, but he just wrote down a couple of lines that pretty much summarized our kind of friendship and what he sees in me and what he appreciates. We've been talking about that before, like here and there, just snippets saying, oh my gosh, thank you for being there. But he wrote it down handwritten, which is something I very much appreciate. He wrote it down as a Christmas gift for me and I was I was honestly moved to tears that evening that I received and, and it took me a couple of days to actually grasp what was written in that letter and what he what he was telling me in that letter and I decided that night, actually, I told him, I'm going to have that framed. Uh, but I, I was so moved. I was honestly really, 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 really hardly trying to 
hold back tears, tears of appreciation, of being moved, not of any kind of romantic love, but of just love for my friend who saw me for who I am and who appreciated every tiny little bit of who I am in in that letter. And there were there weren't like a million sentences and descriptive words of who I am. He he really boiled it down to the essential and wrote that wonderful letter and you know it was it was heartwarming it it felt it felt good so after those last couple of years being not on the receiving end of appreciation from who i thought my best friends were this felt overwhelming honestly it felt overwhelming it felt true and it felt like it couldn't be betrayed if you know what i mean oh gosh you have no idea what this feels like i mean i hope you know what it feels like because that means you received this kind of letter or message or maybe talk to your friends uh, or friend friend friends mm -hmm. in that kind of way but it just felt so true and i know these aren't the right words but these are the words that i'm going to use and I, I just had to frame it. I told him that night, you know, thank you so much. I love it. I'm, I'm going to frame it. And it's going to sit right, right there on top uh, of your position, uh, atop of my computer where I um, do most of my editing work and other computer work um, and whenever I feel in doubt I can look at it right away and remember okay there's people out there who see me for who I am and who appreciate me for who I am and that gift this year honestly it was very special I didn't expect it at all I didn't want to receive it if you know what I mean I, I didn't look for it but there it was and it was gifted to me and it was honest and heartfelt and it it just maybe I, I guess it healed something if if that is the right expression um it definitely did so I'm just so so very thankful and grateful for this very very dear friend and for this very special gift that I will hold in my heart for as long as I think I can I can hold it I mean I hope for the rest of my life uh, maybe if I go for the ways of dementia, I might not, but um, this was special. And it took me a couple of days to actually process it and to deal with it and to fully appreciate it. Because here's the funny thing, and I kind of guess because maybe a lot of people are like that like when they get a really big compliment like you're good you are special you do this and this and this and this for me in my life they tend to go like ah that's nothing it's like yeah whatever everybody does that but really being in the moment and saying okay this is your truth and this is what you see in me 
and this is what you appreciate in me or in my personality, to really let that sink in, I sometimes feel that not very many people do that. So I tried over the last couple of days, and it took me quite a couple of days, to sit there and read that letter again and again and again and to truly believe and appreciate of what that friend told me. So this was one of my biggest surprises this Christmas and I'm very, very grateful and it is heartwarming that I seem to be a good enough person to deserve such a kind of love letter from a lovely friend. So I, yeah, I, I have to still kind of get to terms with it. I know that's the wrong term for what I want to say, but... I, I accepted it, I appreciated it a lot, I was really moved to tears and we were in the big group of friends doing the Secret Santa and I was choking back my tears of appreciation so hard because I didn't want to share what was in my letter with everybody else because that was just between him and I. I didn't want to share because it is so special and so unique to our friendship. Everybody got a love letter from him, so everybody got appreciation and everything. But I was just like, no, I, I don't want to share mine. This is for me to hold on to, and this is for me to trust in new friends again and to be kind of secure and loving about myself as a friend and not feeling like a failure. So this was so special to me that I I decided I that that then and there I I told him thank you I I will get that framed. Cause I, I I haven't told him yet why I did get it framed. He knows that I got it framed because I sent him a photo. But I haven't told him yet why and I think I'm going to send him a clip of this raw footage just to understand this is what you did. So thanks again and yeah, I, there, is, there is no more words. It's just a lot of love and appreciation. And then of course we also prepped uh, the bikes for... Um, the kids that they're gonna get later today because it's the 27th and we have Christmas Eve with them today. Uh, Emma got a second hand bike. It's actually, I think it was the bike of my niece or was it my nephew? No, I think it was my niece, I think. So I did uh, clean it up. We put some more air into the tires and uh, prepped the gifts. Cool. You know the jungle has its rules. And I just gotta keep it cool. And I'll be treated like a tool. So don't be acting like a, acting like a fool. Look cool. at you sobbing like a moon. Trying to get everybody's cool. Go ahead and drop into the pool. It might just be the time for you to. Do better for yourself 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 Afraid of letting go. Life 
Pops up in the cookie dough And you can try to eat it slow But you can mix it up So dig right in Let's head it and work that though Come on, let me see you go you'll be walking around soon. And of course, I also had to uh, prep the, the Christmas area, so I did that. It's the second day of Christmas. I'm home alone and I'm going to prepare Christmas Eve for uh, the kids to be at our house. So we do that on the 27th, which is tomorrow. And I have to put all of these presents up in a nice way for them to get from Santa. And you can watch. Also, I'm still in my PJs, so you gotta deal with that. <laughs> I think this looks kind of sweet. I don't know where I pointed my camera, so let's point it in a direction you probably can see something. So this is Emma's stuff with my Yoda, <laughs> hand by, made by my mom. And uh, this is the gifts for them together. This is Hannes' uh, presents and his bike. Now I will try it with the lights. And if that works, I'm gonna send a photo to Jörn and say, job done. And then I will have to prepare the beds, especially Emma's bed, because we're going to start potty training at night uh, once they are here tomorrow. So, gotta prep the bed. That's not too bad. There's a few twinkle lights. Um, I'm gonna have that light back there, the one in the corner, I'm gonna have that on when they're here tomorrow because, and now you can hardly see me, I know, because um, that makes a lovely warm light, which I think is quite cozy and there's gonna be Christmas music, so I'm done and happy with that part and now I can send a photo to Jan. And aside from that, I just had a wonderful Christmas. Uh, Jan and I spent Christmas Eve on our own at home. Um, my brother had a little hiccup with his plans and uh, we had originally thought we'd uh, celebrate Christmas with his family, but we're gonna do that in January. We're gonna meet up and have a wonderful day. So we spent the evening on our own. We uh, did some gaming because why not? Uh, we had lovely dinner. We just enjoyed ourselves um, Just very quiet and relaxing and uh, On the first day of Christmas we were at my mom's house like all day um, Enjoyed ourselves together had a lot of fun and just celebrated Christmas and uh, Yesterday like I said in an earlier clip. I was alone at home did prep a couple of things and then I just lay in bed all day and read a new book series that I borrowed from uh, the friend that uh, wrote the love letter um, and just enjoyed myself and just got some me time that is not work and that is not being around the house, doing stuff, just really quiet, leisure time, reading, and I enjoyed it so much. And uh, now I'm just gonna prep dinner for tonight because it's gonna take a little longer and later when the twins come home we will have a Christmas celebration. I'm not gonna film it because that's just very private. 
but I'm gonna tell you about it in the next vlog. And I just hope you had a very lovely Christmas as you heard mine was very special. Christmas time was very special this year and uh, yeah, I'm gonna see you in the next vlog, I guess. Take good care, guys. Bye.